We started this project in 2019 and we targeting to be commissioning by end of Q4 of 2021 and uh, starting up fully operational by quarter one, 2022. This is a very flexible plant that we're building. It's modeled after our one in the United States in Bayport, Texas. It's a batch chemical reaction plant. Primarily, one of our feedstocks, ethylene oxide and propylene oxide, comes via pipeline from the company next door. But we're able to take in a lot of other raw materials. That enables us not just to make oil field products, but it also enables us to make products for third parties. It's a very dynamic facility. We have reactors that are stainless steel. We have one glass line reactor. We have all the logistics capability. We have bulk loading and unloading, drumming, automated drumming, all the material handling that you would expect in a fully capable contract chemical plant. You could do work at very high temperatures or pressures or corrosive chemistries in terms of our glass line reactor, and then complex to simple blending. Some blends may be water-based blends that are very easy to make and they're quite safe. Others are quite flammable. Normally when people think about Halliburton, they don't necessarily think about chemical manufacturing, but it became a strategic goal for Halliburton and we wanted to get into that, you know, expand our presence in that sphere. And the decision was made to build a chemical manufacturing facility here in Jebel. We are able to support a number of different markets with our production of chemicals in our plant. Markets such as oil and gas, mining and metallurgy, personal care, and agricultural chemicals. You might wonder, how could a company produce chemicals for these very diverse markets? One of our crown jewels and our expertise in producing chemicals is the production of surfactants. Surfactants are often made up of an alcohol or amine plus ethylene oxide or propylene oxide or combination thereof. And these are used to emulsify or de-emulsify oil from water. So in some cases you want the oil and the water combined, in other cases you want them separated. And the various industries that I spoke to, they all use surfactants for different types of applications. So we are able to fine tune our production for specific molecules that will fit a number of different industries. We have a technology center in Dehran Techno Valley that we're operating today, but our plant will also have research and development capabilities built in from day one. We'll have a lab facility, we'll have our piloting facilities also to then take those research concepts and then run them through a process to further develop them into full-scale production. What we've been dependent on is taking those really wonderful ideas developed in the kingdom, but then having to export it to somebody else in another country to figure out how to make it in real life. What our Jebel plant does is it bridges those two worlds. We're able to develop those same chemistries in the kingdom, where we're able to run them over to Jebel and start to scale them up in larger vessels. It allows for faster turnaround time, but at the end of the day, you also have developed a product that you know you've done so using local raw materials, local know-how, and hopefully works best for your local problems that you're trying to solve. We find that prospective customers are coming to us and asking us, I want to improve my ICTAVA score. Can you react chemical A with chemical B? Can I change out this alcohol for another alcohol such that I get a higher ICTAVA score because more of this is produced in kingdom versus imported into the kingdom as a raw material. From day one, we've developed a workforce plan to target 70% saudization for our facility. I'm very proud to say as of today, my operations team is on board and I'm at 73% for my ops team. So I'm super excited to have local talent that we're gonna start this plan up and make it a success. Now we have put together a number of strong processes in place to protect our customer's intellectual property, be it the simple product X versus the entire tech package. We segregate all our customer's intellectual property, we code it, 
It's only shared with the need-to-know basis of a very small team of professionals that represent different functions such as manufacturing, analytical sciences, procurement, safety and compliance. Even further, in the actual production site, we will segregate all of our customers' various raw materials and products, we'll code them, so that if we have visitors come into our site, it's not very apparent who we're doing business with or what products we're making in the facility. And then the last thing that I wanted to bring up is we have a very strong ethical standard at Halliburton. So the code of business conduct is really key to our day-to-day -day operations. We won't tolerate any types of security leaks, breaches, or misuse of our customers' intellectual properties. Our customers, in general, look at us as an extension of themselves. Perhaps they don't want to invest capital into a plant, perhaps they don't have a local manufacturing facility, but in the end, they are really looking at us to be an extension of themselves in terms of reliability, in terms of quality, in terms of safety, and maintenance of the intellectual property. Halliburton's been operating in the Middle East for decades. We move chemicals, we move equipment, we move people from country to country all throughout the region. Saudi Arabia's been one of our longest term countries we've worked with. We have a lot of local capabilities, not just on people, but on all the chemicals, on all the equipment, everything that's needed to move that stuff around. So we have a lot of depth when it comes to logistics, when it comes to understanding the local challenges, the geography challenges. We intend to leverage that depth with our Jebel plant. The plant itself has the ability to package in a variety of different ways. But more importantly, we have the ability to leverage our broader Halliburton capabilities to make sure the customer gets what they need when they need it. We've had a really great relationship built over time with our government agencies in Saudi Arabia. The local government agencies have been absolutely tremendous and helpful for us. We've got nothing but support. It's been really nice. We've got tremendous support from our local agencies, but also kingdom-wide, some of the higher level agencies as well, and trying to make our vision a success. And of course, by that, also making the vision for Saudi Arabia success as well. One of the exciting features of the plant is that from day one, we're building infrastructure that for future expansion, we can readily grow the plant from capability standpoint. If we wanna add more blenders, if we wanna add more reactors, we're able to do that with our existing infrastructure that we've built. And we've got an eye to the future in that regard. We'd like to fill the plant up from day one and, and immediately be ready to make our expansion. That's important, of course, for Halliburton, but it's also important for the region and important for Saudi Arabia that we can grow that plant because we can then serve additional customers in terms of volume, but also we add headcount. We're gonna add development of workforce. We're gonna add new jobs over time as we see more demand come on. Our Halliburton value proposition is to collaborate and engineer solutions to maximize asset value to our customers. I recognize that many of our potential contract customers, they're just trying to grow their own businesses today. You may be looking at your portfolio and the things you buy and wanting to know, how can I buy this cheaper? How can I have more secure supply? Or how can I just do this in Kingdom so I'm not importing? That's a journey that you're going on. It's a very worthwhile journey, but it takes a lot of support. And it takes partnering with a company that'll work with you as you go on that journey to figure out, how can I make this my product? How can I make it locally? How can I get more value out of that? We're here to help you on that journey. We've been doing it ourselves as Halliburton. It's well worth it.